exciting for a couple reasons. One, I'm getting a haircut because my hair is a disaster. Two, we have a 500 horsepower Italian crossover for the week, the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio. And just look at that blue with the yellow calipers. And I'm in a garage, it's gonna look even better in the sun. Let's hop in and head to work. This is more of a semi-warm start than a cold start, but still, it sounds good. Actually, no, it doesn't sound that good. The valves are closed. That's annoying. There we go. We're heading home from work. Andrew's checking out the Stelvio Quadrifoglio. Yeah, you were, you were taking pictures. 505 horsepower, 2.9 twin turbo V6. And this one has the carbon ceramic brakes, which are $8,000. So that does uh, inflate the price quite a bit, carbon ceramic brakes, but you need that for 505 horsepower, quad exhaust tips. So the valves are open now. Initially, you can't really open the exhaust valves. I even was toggling the switch here and they wouldn't open, but once open, sounds pretty good. What in the world is this weather? It's like sunny out, but pouring rain, okay. Look, it's sunny over there. Oh, the alpha's getting wet today. Look at the sky. Nice and sunny, couple clouds. Dumping rain. All right. Okay, Chicago, you have weird weather today. It's Friday evening after work. Have a couple hour drive back to Michigan with the Stelvio Quad. Have it loaded up. A couple overnight bags for the weekend, some camera gear. Testing the cargo capacity. Not much, I mean, duffel bag, tripod slider, Pelican case. Got the other things, our radar detector and my uh, iPass for going to tollways. Let's hit the road. Hopefully it's not too much traffic getting out of Chicago. Let's go. Almost forgot to show you guys the window sticker. So a 2020 Stelvio Quadrifoglio, base price is 80445 Notable options, we have uh, Masano Blue exterior paint, the driver assist package type of stuff, so it's got lane keep assist, traffic jam assist, blind spot. Uh, the most expensive thing are the carbon ceramic brakes, which are $8,000. Bunch of other stuff, uh, the sunroof, panoramic sunroof, the yellow brake calipers, all add up to an as-tested price of 96,540. She's not filthy, but we're getting a quick wash at Pristine Detailing in Northville, Michigan. A lot of the bugs came off from the rainstorm last night. Look at these hood vents, love it. Okay. No car wash, this complete without the gratuitous foam cannon shot. Nice and soapy. Ah, I'm getting hit with soap. 500 plus horsepower SUV number two has arrived. F-Pace SVR in a ultra blue finish with a Preston and Avery behind the wheel. Gentlemen, hello. What's up? So without a doubt, the F-Pace SVR sounds better, but this Alpha and this Masano blue just looks so good, all cleaned up. Yellow calibers peeking out behind those dark wheels. It is blue super SUV day. The EcoBoost Mustang has arrived. Hello, Matthew. Like my EcoBoost? I love the EcoBoost. There it is, that's what I was waiting for. A brand new G63, holy crap, look at that color, desert tan. Oh boy, John in his new refrigerator box. <laughs> this thing is awesome. So we have a couple cool SUVs here, but John wins with the new G63. This is literally something you can't even buy, even if you want it. This was a 14 month wait. 14 months from ordering it to actually getting it. Desert Sand 2020 G63. Besides the Urus, the new G63 is absolutely my, it's my second favorite SUV in the world right now. And it's so much better than the previous gen. Oh boy. Now you want one, don't you Preston? Nah. Nah, nah, you're giving up on that dream? Moved on. You moved on. <laughs> you moved on back of the, I'm setting up the back of the Stelvio so I can lie down back here to do some roller shots. To release the rear seat, you pull this here, this tonneau kind of cargo cover here collapses and goes away. But here's, I mean, it's not a huge SUV, so you actually can't fold these back seats down with the front seats the way they are. So I'm gonna move them forward, and then they'll go down. So we just did rear human cargo camera film car capacity test with the Stelvio Quad. Got the slider, the camera there, it worked. We're gonna get some shots of the Alpha now. So I gotta hop in the back of the F-Pace and we'll see how much more or less practical that one is. So apparently the F-Pace's cargo cover thing is a lot more permanently installed, right Preston? Is it a pain yeah, to get is. out? Yeah, it is, I don't know what, 
for, for the dead oh, dude, bodies. Yeah, it's got, it's like, it's got straps yeah. that are hooked on there. It doesn't, the alpha one just like compressed, not compressed, it just retracted in and I just took it out. So, I have to see a six foot three Asian guy try to climb in the back of an F2. Uh, Ow. This will work. You get an 8.5 from the Russian judge. <laughs> Camilla, I got an 8.5? What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do the same thing. Ah, okay, I can't really. All right, this works. It's gonna be. You know, Eddie, I give the F pace one thing. It's uh, it hides you pretty well in there. Um, we did get pulled over once doing this with you and Alex. Yeah, yeah. with the 600 LT. No, I was in the R8 at the time. Oh, the R8. Yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. Just like stay in the car. They came and yelled at you guys. <laughs> See, this cover is easy. You just go boop. Yeah, and it exactly. retracts, yeah. and then you like push it. Super oh, smooth. You push that in, and it comes out. Uh, yeah, you know what? It's cheap, huh? There. Oh, now you're getting elitist about your F Pace's yeah, cargo like, cover? Like it's not like from the Chrysler parts bin. That's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> that Shelby looks so good, and it sounds pretty good too. I am currently in the lowest power car at only 505 horsepower with the. F pace hiding back there. Preston, what are you doing? Come on. <laughs> the weather today in Michigan is absolutely perfect. About to get some B-roll shots of the Stelvio and then film the actual review itself. Really loving this car. The 2020 updates they did are exactly what they needed to do to improve the interior. I really like the inside of it now. Uh, obviously, it still drives amazing. It sounds good. Unfortunately, yesterday with Preston's F Pace SVR, the sound of this doesn't quite impress me as much because the SVR is just absurd sounding. It is still great. Show you some of the other details uh, that I don't know if I covered in the previous video. Remember, I've actually spent a week with a 2019 Stelvio Quad, so check out that video where I covered some of the things already, but they did make updates. Steering wheel changes like this shifter lever here is now wrapped in leather. That's different. The cup holder area moved. Same thing with the Julia. Infotainment is much, much better. One of the big things I complained about was Apple CarPlay or Android Auto using a rotary knob without a touchscreen is quite infuriating. It's much easier just to tap it because... That is the, that's the interface you're used to when you're using your smartphone and it, it has a touch screen now and it's much better. Other random things here, we've got the uh, little opening here. This is where I put my sunglasses, uh, convenient there. And then auto stop start button is here, which really, I, I hate auto stop start. I mean, in like a, in a fuel efficiency minded vehicle, auto stop start isn't as bad. In a 500 horsepower vehicle, it's just kind of irritating. And what's even more irritating is when auto stop starts, if you have, like I have a radar detector plugged in to the 12 volt, it kills power to that. So when it turns the engine back on, you hear beep beep boop, and it's turning the radar detector back on because power is being restored. And it's, that's really annoying. So always turn that off without a doubt. The car uh, definitely got a little bit of, a little bit of bird poop on it. Killed some bugs. I'll wipe it off with quick detail. Still, still looks amazing from the uh, wash yesterday. We'll pull out the A7S II and get some nice beauty shots. Do the review. Oh, yeah. Love these carbon ceramics. They're so strong. They're amazing. Worth $8,000. Even if you don't track it, worth it because no brake dust. And they will literally stop on a dime. Wrapping up the weekend at my parents' house. About to take the Stelvio back to Chicago. My dad was just commenting about the car. The neighbors have actually walking by the nice day out. A lot of them stopped and complimented the car. My dad just pointed at this and was like, why is there a dent? And it's like, that's the gas door. They do put a little, little, I don't know, a dent? Well, that's what I'd call a little indent here. I'll let you know it's a gas door, in case you forget. Got the car loaded up with some stuff. Dad's currently walking my younger brother's little puppy, which by no coincidence, her name is Shelby, which I approve because I have a, a Shelby. And yeah, my younger brother was like, that's the name we're going with. I'm like, that's amazing, I approve of it. And he goes, oh crap. But yes, his puppy is named after my car. That's how it is. Oh my, she, you are you are a handful. Yes, yeah, sit, good girl. Nope, nope. I need to get you a little collar thing that says Shelby GT350R. <laughs> So my week with the Quadrifoglio is about to end, and I really, really liked this car. They really addressed all the main issues and complaints I had with the 2020 refresh. The interior is much better, the infotainment's much better, great Harman card and sound system. I put over 900 miles on the, in a week with a long drive from Chicago to Michigan and Michigan back to Chicago without much fatigue. Uh, you put it into normal or A, whatever A stands for, the efficiency mode. It's quiet, it's comfortable, the damper, so you can adjust the damper, so in normal mode, it's acceptable. Seats are good, it gets decent fuel economy in the freeway. I think I averaged about 22 or 23. 
This thing is a ton of fun to drive. It is fast. I like the way it looks. The interior updates make it really nice. My week with the Stelvio Quad has actually made me, like, I would consider this as a performance daily driver SUV. Absolutely. The paddle shifters just look so amazing. These interior updates. It is quite expensive. At almost $100,000 with $8,000 carbon ceramic brakes, the brakes are very strong. They stop very, very quickly, uh, but it is an expensive option. But if you're shopping in this segment, that's just how much these things cost now. And you're getting the top tier. You get the Italian flair, the cool design. It's unique. It's different from the kind of traditional German vehicles in a segment with an X3M or something like a Cayenne or a Macan. This thing is properly awesome. And with that, we'll wrap up this video. Make sure you guys check out the full review with the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, talking more in depth about the details, the changes they made to the interior, how it drives, and so forth, with some awesome cinematic shots. Thanks for watching, guys. And it's recording. Cool. Is it recording? It is now because I pressed the red button. Wow. Okay, so. Not yet. That still sounds good, though. That's not a tunnel, man. That's a that bridge. That still sounds good. Look, another bridge. Go on. Yes, there we go. Oh. You have to slow down for it though, so that you get the full experience. I don't like that it's pulling up a cave and right before I go through this. Well, I can't help you with that. I'm the passenger. I'm going to slam on a brake as soon as I go through it. Well, when I said slow down, I didn't mean that much. There's nobody behind Do you want me to get out and walk? Yes, please. Oh man, I gotta go through that in the Shelby. Yeah, you do. That's fun.